Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm excited to walk you through the process of creating this cat stall model. If you encounter any problems or have any questions along the way, feel free to drop a comment below. I will try my best to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Your support keeps me motivated to bring you even more exciting content. Now let's get started. I started by adding a basic cube, scaled it on x-axis, then duplicated it. Extruded the top part and scaled it so it looks like milk box. With basic shape of the milk box done, I added bevel modifier to give it some round edge and smooth shade. I cut out the bottom part of the box for the cat shop with boolean modifier. Duplicated the cube and shaped it so it looked like a simple table. Then gave it a bevel modifier for round edge. I added another cube, gave it some loop cut, and scaled it so it looked like a roof tile. Gave it an array and mirror modifier for more tiles. Added a simple holder for the tiles, then mirrored it. I renamed all objects and grouped them in the collection so they stay organized. For straw, I added a cylinder and scaled it on Z-axis. Used spin tool to give the straw a bent shape. Then placed the straw in the milk box. I used simple shapes for the cat face in front of the box. I made another cube and then extruded the back so it looked like a TV. For the screen, I inserted the front face of the cube and subdivided for more edges, then inserted it again. After completing the TV model, I duplicated it two times and positioned them below. Placed them by the milk box, then shaded smooth. I used cubes for the power box model and made a bolt icon so it doesn't look like a random box.
For AC, I used the same power box and subdivided the front face. Then used loop tool to make the subdivided face circle and extrude along normal to insert them. For more details to the model, I created a fan shape and some cubes. I also added a simple banner because every shop should have one. For the light pole, I used a cylinder and extruded it on Z-axis. Scaled the top and bottom parts for more details. Then added two loop cuts and scaled them down. For the light bulb holder, I used a sphere and deleted the bottom vertices. I shaped the pipelines first by extruding single vert. Converted the vertices to curve, then added some depth to them for thickness. Once again, I grouped all the objects into different collections to better organize them. For the cat face, I used a quad sphere. Deleted half of the face, then used the mirror modifier, so I don't have to do both sides of the face. extruded the top part of the head and shaped it like ear. I extruded from the bottom part of the head and made a rough shape of the body. For legs, I used cubes with subdivision modifiers.
I added whiskers by extruding cylinders and then duplicated them. Place the cat inside the milk box. Also made a chair for the cat which won't be visible from camera and have no use. For the wires, I used the same technique as for creating pipes. I beveled the vertices to make them look like hanging wires. I used a quad sphere to make the light bulb, which is not the ideal way of making it, but it was okay since my bulb was going to be small anyway. For smoke, I used spheres as particle objects and masked the particle emitter using a mask modifier. I also made some stars hanging in front of the shop. A shop with no customers wasn't looking good, so I instanced the cat collection and placed them in front of the shop. Finally, I set up my camera and completed the modeling process. Mostly, I used my own color palette, which can be downloaded from my Gumroad link. The model of this project will also be included. First, I started by coloring the world background which lights up the whole scene. Then added some lights and highlighted the main objects.
I created the outline effect for this model, which can be used in both cycles and EV render, which works by using a solidify modifier and flipping the normals. Here are the nodes for outlines, and of course you have to turn on back face culling to work which I did later on this video. After creating the outline effect, I applied them to all objects.
Here I use texture paint to paint a cat image on the box.
add more detail to the scene, I imported some vine geometry nodes from my other project and painted the vines using curve pen on the surfaces of the models. Thanks for watching. If you encounter any problems or have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. If you like this video, your support keeps me motivated to bring you exciting content.